Welcome to Booze Science, where the goal is better drinking through chemistry. Now, most bartenders use a lot of science to make the perfect cocktail, whether they know it or not. But you can actually use some of that same science to make perfect drinks at home. Today on Booze Science, ice. To learn more about it, I went to an expert at one of my favorite bars, the Interval of the Long Now. This is the person who runs it, Jen Collio. Hi, Jen. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. Um, it's an incredible space. Uh, beautiful Brian Eno, ever-changing artwork behind the bar, incredible glasswork everywhere, and some of the best cocktails that you'll have in the city. A lot of the best cocktails are a little bit like revenge, in that they are best served cold. <laughs> and that's a little true. <laughs> yes, absolutely. But one of the reasons that I want to come here is that you have a very controlled uh, process for thinking about temperature and ice. Yes, your ice is going to be 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the fr temperature freezing, but you can bring a cocktail much colder than that. And that's um, because of the thermal energy that's expended as the ice is melting in your cocktail, because the, the alcohol acts as antifreeze. Mastering that melt can give you bar level control over your drink. Not just the temperature, but also texture and strength and taste. Think of it as a dilution solution. Dilution is a, is a critical component of a cocktail. Most cocktail recipes won't actually call for water, but they'll call for shaking or stirring over ice. So it's that dilution that you're adding to the alcoholic ingredients um, that kind of bring, you know, unify all the, all the flavors and the textures and that kind of stuff. So we measure dilution by measuring the temperature as we stir drinks down. So we have different temperatures that we hit based on um, what the drink is, what its components are, and how it is served. So, so that's interesting. So, so temperature becomes the proxy for how much melt water you're Correct. adding. Correct, to yeah. Jen showed me how she makes some of the long now's drinks, always stirring with the digital thermometer for precision. First, she made me a gorgeous Manhattan, which she stirs to exactly 32 degrees. No need to go lower, as Manhattans are nicely balanced, they don't need much dilution. Yeah, see, it's a good drink. Then Jen made me an old fashioned, which is actually pretty avant garde, at least when it comes to the ice. She stirs to 35 degrees and then pours it into a glass that has a wedge of ice frozen into it in advance. It's not just a look, though that does look cool, but there's a reason for it too. A lot of ice nerds like to talk about how a, an ice sphere or an ice ball has the least amount of surface area to it, but a, a flat plane has less than that. So it's a, little bit, it's a little bit gimmicky, but it's also like totally true. <laughs> Plus there's a certain pleasure in out nerding the ice nerds. Yes, yes, absolutely. We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, that's beautiful. Thanks. As neat as that trick is, Jen's next drink, a gimlet variant that she invented, is where the science of super cooling really kicks in. A gimlet is traditionally gin and lime cordial. I don't make a separate lime cordial, but um, I use the elements of the lime cordial, lime zest, lime juice, and sugar. It takes us three days, we clarify it. This is super proofy, we need to bring it way down, so I use the temperature to gauge how much dilution I'm putting in this drink. Jen stirs until the drink gets to 28 degrees, well below freezing. That adds water, brings the percent of alcohol in the drink down, and you taste fruit instead of booze. Yeah, it's really, it's really wonderful. Thank you. The lime is so strong. It's, it's like biting into on in summer. But, Thank you. Uh, but I, but, but you can only get it here. I mean, yeah. it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, for that gimlet, you will have to come to the interval. But using a thermometer to, to measure dilution is a way to consistently make delicious drinks when you're at home. Um, it's really not, it's not very complicated. It just requires a thermometer and um, some patience. Sorry for the pun in advance, but it's, it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so I appreciate much. it. Absolutely.